Hi there, today's video topic is company branding and trademark. If you are thinking to expand your business to an international market, you must take the question of branding and trademark seriously. Otherwise, you risk facing the necessity to go through an expensive and time-consuming rebranding. Let's have a closer look at it. Branding. When entering a new market, you should check whether the names or names of your company and products have no bad or funny connotation. Also, your logo should not cause any bad or funny associations. For example, red color would not be taken positively in South Africa, where red is the color of grief. Yellow is not good for business purposes in Egypt or Jordan, where yellow is used for funerals. Or remember the car brandings. Well, quite a few companies needed to change the car's name on entering the new market. In our practice, we had recommended several clients to make changes to their branding because of these kind of situations. Trademark. The purpose behind trademarks is to allow companies and individuals to indicate the source of their goods or services and to distinguish them from others in the industry. Thus, the trademark law aims at preventing unfair competition by protecting the use of symbol, word, logo, slogan, design or domain name, etc. There are several types of trademark in Europe – local for each country, European and international. You should make sure there are no competitors using the same trademark at the international market. Also make sure you won't have problems with your domain name. Know that a private individual or a legal entity may register a trademark in Europe. That's all for today. If you have any questions or would like to speak to us for more details, contact us from down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye for now!